Hello, my name is Wadball, and welcome to a new segment I'd like to call Top of the Heap, which is just a space where I rant, review, or talk about things in the gaming world that I find interesting or diverting. And now, Top of the Heap. Now that E3 is over and all the gaming pundits have already dissected the big winners and losers, pss, Nintendo, hey, Vitality Sensor, really, really? It is now time for a small-time YouTuber slash adventure gamer to comment about what adventure gamers have been craving about for so many years. No, not Heavy Rain. No, that does look good. I mean the two announcements regarding Monkey Island, specifically the Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition and the Tales of Monkey Island. For those of you unfamiliar with the news of E3, I'll give you the gist of what these two Monkey Island announcements are all about. The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition is a graphical remake of the old classic LucasArts game, The Secret of Monkey Island. The graphics have been redrawn to more or less HD quality, and the sprites have been replaced by 3D models, Hi. making the game a kinda 2.5D adventure. It adds back some features that were removed from the original release because of disk space issues. Now that's disk with a K, as in floppy disk. It also adds a few new features like voice acting, and even brings back Dominic Armado the voice of Guybrush Threepwood from Curse of and Escape from Monkey Island. I love the idea of bringing a new generation of gamers to adventure games, as there have not been enough to counterbalance the desire of companies to shoot out another boring sandbox or first-person shooter. It's also nice to be able to get younger, and this is relatively speaking as I'm pretty young myself, gamers to know that there was a time when adventure games did not have the word action appended to it. Still, as an experienced adventure gamer, even with upgraded graphics and voice acting, I wonder to myself, do I really want to spend the money to get what I already have with the 16 or 256 color versions of Secret of Monkey Island? The story, the ending, and probably the puzzles are the same, which is why I'm not over the wall ecstatic about this. Now if they remade LeChuck's Revenge and re-added what was cut from the Rush Deadline, yeah, I'd probably be a little bit more excited. But the story that I'm excited about comes from Telltale Games, which has licensed the IP of Monkey Island from LucasArts to create The Tales of Monkey Island, a set of episodic games made in the style of the new seasons of Sam and Max. This may not be the Monkey Island 5 that fans have been clamoring and signing petitions for, but a continuation of a story that ended with the horrible controls of Escape from Monkey Island is always a good thing. It's in 3D, though I hope that doesn't mean that there are too many crate-pushing puzzles. Broken Sword 3. The voice acting is the same cast as Curse of Monk Island, which means Dominic Omato is back as the voice of Guybrush Threepwood. I'm not really that much into episodic gaming. I'm the kind of guy who likes to hit the play all button on a DVD to watch the entire season in a day. But something like this may get me into it, especially because Ron Gilbert advises the Telltale team, made up of former LucasArts employees. Now this Ron Gilbert advising bit has gotten a little bit of criticism from others in the adventure community, demanding that he be given an official role in the development of the game. First off, Ron Gilbert is making his own game, and to my knowledge that requires a lot of time to do, so he doesn't have that kind of opportunity to fly back and forth advising two different teams. He just doesn't have that much time in a day. Second, he's at least talking to the team and making sure that the game is respecting what he's done the last four games. At least this isn't like Al Lowe's situation with Leech Suit Larry, where the franchise no longer even faintly resembles Al's original vision, whether aesthetic, gameplay, humor, or otherwise. But seeing these two projects underway gives me hope that younger gamers will see the humor and wit in games that we older gamers take for granted. I'm encouraged by this wave of nostalgia that has gripped game makers, and hope that we can see some of our other beloved franchises given some of this treatment now. Gabriel Knight 4, Activision Blizzard, think about it. Anyway, that's the end. This is Wadball signing off saying good night and good luck. I'll see you next time in my next set of LP videos.